All right, today we're going to be looking at my Vol Mark III build. This is the third evolution of my uh, Vol Microfighter. As you can see, I've whereas before I was trying to make it as small as possible, now I've kind of flattened it out to give it a more conventional appearance. We'll get into the ship builder, show you how it's built, put it together, and then we'll take it into combat and see how it performs. All right, we're in the ship builder now. As you can see, it uh, has a profile of a large mechanical foot. I kind of like the uh, beefy look that it has. As you can see, it has 1,830 cargo, six crew members, 30 light gear jump range, 100 mobility, 140 top speed. All particle beam weapons. All right, we'll get into the ship builder. I'll take it apart and uh, I'll show you how it goes together. All right, as you can see, I got it taken apart. We're going to start with our Hope Tech all in one berth, two by one. Directly behind it, we'll connect the ship bed 200 landing bay. On top of the landing bay, we're going to hook up a DC-303 fast ignition reactor. Directly in front of that, we'll use a Hope Tech companionway one by one. And a little spot here, we're going to put a Contiki B-500 bridge. On, side, on the sides of the uh, reactor, we're going to hook up two of these SAE-5660 engines. Directly below the engines, we're going to hook up our NG-20 landing gears in our 4 configuration. And the reason you want it is in their 4, you don't want the thick ones. Because you want to leave a little gap in between the ship bed, landing bay, and the gears. That way these Caravelle V-102 cargo holds will slot in there just perfectly. Alright, on the uh, back end of this uh, all-in-one berth, we're going to hook up these two landing gears. These are Hope 6 landing gears. These gears are also completely redundant. They're not ne uh, needed for the ship. However, in my last previous, or a couple of builds, when I only have gears on the rear, and you're just looking at the front, everybody is like, well, the ship should just fall over. And yes, in real life, it would just fall over. However, it's not that kind of game. The game only cares about the landing thrust that each gear provides. It doesn't care where the gear actually is. But I'm going to throw you guys a bone. We're going to put the gears here just so uh, it has a more conventional appearance. For cargo, we're using 400 CM ballast on both sides. We're going to put our grav drive right on top of the reactor. You could put it down here and it would give it a flat appearance. but I kind of like the way that this came out. It has a more uh, aggressive profile, in my opinion. For fuel tanks, I'm going to use a Titan 450 HE3 tank and a Titan 550 HE3 on this side. Even though they're visually identical, I uh, only needed 233 fuel, and these two tanks give me 270. And if I were to use a two 550s on both sides, they would just be wasting mass. Our Hope Tech Cap A4 will go right on front of the grab drive. We're going to use a uh, Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator, I'll put it on top of the grab drive. A Hope Tech Nose B in their 4 configuration will cover up the 2x1 hab for aesthetics purposes. I had some questions about this uh, 100 dp slim docker and a few other videos. People didn't know you could actually flip this thing around. You can. I think it's just the Demos ones that allow you to do this, but uh, we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to put it on the bottom hab right there. All right, now we just got to mount our guns on top of each engine. I'm going to use an equipment plate to put one gun. On. And then I use a Horizon weapon mount on both sides of the grab drive. And this is it. I think it looks uh, pretty good, pretty aggressive. As I said, uh, it kind of resembles my previous build, the Orca build, but that ship only had a thousand cargo where I've got this up to 1830. So I'm happy with it. Oh, I guess uh, before I leave, I know I'm going to get 20 questions 
Mumsy, why don't you use the 3015 engines? They're faster. Okay, first off, these engines are what holds all the stuff to the side, but throwing that aside, look at our mobility. Yeah, our speed went up by 40, but mobility is at 45. So these, these uh, White Dwarf 3015 engines are good for speed. They're terrible for mobility. So they don't work in this uh, configuration that I have. So we're going to go back to our SAE 5660s. Alright, let's go outside and take a look at it. As I said, these gears are redundant right here, but people were complaining that it just looked dumb with two gears. Alright, fine, whatever. I'll put the other two gears on there. Come in from the rear. Down here we have all in one berth. It's got two bunks. It's got the bathroom. Up here is that one by one companionway. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's. Like a lot. If I could find a way to shut the door and lock Cora in there, I would, but I don't know how to do that. Got our little refrigerator. Table. There's some sink, stove. I guess you can't actually cook at it. There's a uh, couch, table back here, and then we'll go up into the bridge from this spot. So as I said before, all four of the crew, or excuse me, all six of the crew members are coming from this bridge. I don't really find a use for more than eight crew members, or excuse me, six crew members. Uh, for those of you that are actually using eight, let me know which eight you're using because I'm kind of curious to what benefit it is for the last two. All right, we're going to combat, or excuse me, into orbit. Take a look at some of the stats, and then uh, we'll take it into combat. We had 1,830 cargo base. We now have 3,170 because now we're uh, getting our payload skill. I have four points of payload applied. That increases by 50%. And I have Sam Co on board, which also increases by another 10%. That brings us up to 3,170. Shields, 2320. I don't have Amari on board right now. And as I said before, we only have six because that's all I really find useful. This is a Class B ship. I think, like I said, I think it looks pretty nice. Let's go over to the Serpenta system and uh, we'll uh, see how it performs. How hard would it be to just label all the systems so I don't have to hover over each one to figure out what the name is? Ooh, you just look at that view. area down here I can take a look at. Yes. Is that a hostile? No, that's a sensor contact. Yeah, I'll just fly over here. I flew around for about 30 minutes earlier before I made this video, just testing things out. Yeah, no, it's pretty trivial. So we got a couple of Starborn Guardians. Engines 
Engine's fried. The target. <laughs> I have skills up to 177. The artifacts are mine. And there goes their engines. Whoopsie. So that's easy. Like I said, there's I've fought four uh, guys at a time, and it's just there's no contest. Let's take a look at uh, photo mode. The outside. It's a nice looking ship. As I was saying earlier, you can move the grab drive down into the cavity where that one by one companion way is, but like I said, I, I like the way this came out. Sometimes smaller isn't always better. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any uh, builds you'd like me to try uh, putting together, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.